Edmonton, Alberta. We bring you hockey from the plains. Hi, everybody. With Bill Clement, I'm Gary Thorne, ready to watch this action between the Edmonton Oilers and the Calgary Flames. The Flames tape to tape passing can be impressive when it's working. High level of skill. I mean, you can't play this game. And, and look, they're not a crash bang team, they're a finesse team. He's a long breakaway. Two again, look. Offensive opportunity, three on two. From down low, back up to the blue line. Two again, look. From outside the scoring area, what a shot. Calgary's ability to hit, there it is. Yeah, and we're going to see a lot of it. They like to staple gun people to the boards. So Ray's stick in picking that one up shows he knew where that pass was going. He'd already read it. Handles that puck along the wing and up into the neutral zone. Offense will start at the far side corner and that easy dump in to board. To again, look. Go gain some room. Quick shot. Great effort by the goaltender. Big save. Nice quick snap. Eats on dangerous territory. Two on two the other way. Save made. And he hangs on. We'll get a face off here. This team has won a lot of games in its franchise history. In fact, the third fastest team to reach 1,000. That's a pretty quality team. Absolutely. But they really started a rebuilding program with young players after they traded Ryan Smith to the New York Islanders at the 2007 trade deadline. Takes that puck right in front of the net. What a chance to score, but misfired. Well, you know what? If you miss the net entirely, you don't even generate a rebound. I mean, at least hit the 4 by 6 opening. To White. To Giordano. Gagne. He'll control that puck in the offensive zone. Gets rid of that in a hurry. Long way to go with it. To stage it. To White. Into the middle to Tange. Quick opportunity. Save that one straight on. Big time effort. That's the offensive zone. Glove save on a real good scoring chance to Gagne. To Ray. There's the shot. Not going to make it to the net. That one bounces off somebody. What a play. He had a twist and turn. Gets a stick on it. That puck was up in the air. that one on the tape in his own offensive zone to Hagman big wrist shot save made he scores power play goal you take that goal Bill because you're not going to get many of them a punch single right into the twine And that's the end of the first 20. Calgary's effort in that first period, good enough for the 1-0 lead. Few chances, not many, though. It's just the conversion that mattered. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse, featuring complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories. Edmonton's opportunity in this period starts with a shorthanded unit. Not a lot of time to kill off, though. Second period underway with that opening faceoff. Good pass off that wing goes to Ray. Not exactly where he wanted that shot to go. That was over the top of the net. Now, he was trying to beat him over the shoulder, but he just got under the shot too much. Edmonton's penalty is over. The player returning to the ice here, and there'll be an even strength. Holds that in. More time on the offense. Nice pass out all the way to the point. And he's hurt. 
He is down on the ice and it doesn't look like he's going to get up. Hagman's got a real problem over there, Bill. He's heading off. Yeah, Gary, it's not a skate problem, all right? You don't limp that noticeably when you've got an equipment issue. Has that puck under control in his offensive zone. Opportunity on that move. Save made. Picks that one up in front of his own net. Pretty good defensive pressure right there. Covered the puck up there, Bill, but I'll tell you, that's a pretty good scoring chance to deny. No question. He had to make a number of them before getting the whistle. Over six minutes left to go here in the second period. The Oilers are in a classic. This is a defensive battle. Not a lot of shots, not a lot of goals, but a good game. To board. Again, look. Bill, as we near the end of this second period, both teams have come face-to-face, -face, not blink. Gary, these are men, and they're playing a men's game really physical. It's going to be like that until the tilt ends. Found him alone. He's in on a breakaway. Great save. What a scoring opportunity. That puck being moved up against the wall. Let's see who can dig that out and control it. Pass up the middle to Ray. To Gagne. Pass from down low. He's got it on the point. Be careful, he's got to move that. Use that stick effectively to control the offense. One minute going to hear the horn here shortly as we're running out of time in the second period. Up the wing, he's got that one on the tape. To Ray, two on two on the rush. Puts that one in the mitt, that's a scoring chance. We talk about offensive pressure, that's about as good as it gets done, and they didn't get a thing. Well, a little bit of help, maybe. I mean, he could use it. We conclude the second period. Calgary's chance to win this game in the third period is all about their goaltending. Well, he's the reason they're ahead. And once you've got the lead, you should be able to close it out. Receive a free team poster. Here's the drop of the puck for the beginning of the third. Sometimes the soft toss is as good as the hard one as he gets that one into the zone to board. Here's a two-on-one. That denies the chance. Good poke check. Here's a chance in the offensive end on the pick. Receives that puck back in the point from down low. And the boards take those two in. Hemsky gets around him to Gagne. Good position on the ice to take that shot, but that puck ended up over the net. Back to the point from down low. Regeer. Wrist shot. Calgary's ability to start any kind of a rush here is not happening. Yeah, uh, that's a great point. Forget about finishing the play. They can't even get it started. They're so sloppy. On the rush. Two on one chance. To Jones. Brings that puck into the offensive zone. Leaves the defender in the lurch. What a move he put on. He heads over to the scorer's table and will make the call on this penalty. Brule's penalty, a slashing call for two. Boy, he put his stamp on him on this play. I think some of the paint on the shaft of the stick actually came off on him. He slashed him so hard. The Flames power play tonight, one for two. Here's their third chance. Oh, there's a shot at goal scoring area. Dangerous zone to be passing that puck, but he didn't cover it up. There's a point man looking for a little room to Koisten it. Good stop. Made that one look easy, and actually it probably was. Javi Bullen's freezing of the puck really matters here. That takes the heat off now. We'll get a face-off. Borkoff's their face-off man tonight, and he's going to get another chance. Good work off the face-off, even though he just looked. He shoots! He scores! And that's going to knot it up. And we've seen this guy do it in the past. Just blast BBs. And that time, his launch was perfect. Oh, you love to have those chances on the ice. He just didn't get it there over the net. Try and create a little offense in behind the net. Regeer's effort right there is unselfish. That's putting the body down, paying the price. He blocks the shot. To Gagne. 
Our third period has come to an end. This game is tied. We'll see if we can get a winner in an overtime period. If not, then we'll do it through a shootout. And the face-off presents our overtime period fortunes to these two clubs. We'll see if we got a game winner on the ice. Shot that one up through the middle. Pokes that one away at center ice to Bowmeister. Straight back to Bowmeister. Offensive scoring chance. What a move he put on. Big time opportunity, but it's gone. No, over the net. Missed the crossbar. Big time shot. Got the blocker down and deflects the puck away. That bounces off him. That's a blocked shot even though he didn't intend to do it. To Ray. You get down low like that, you expect battles. He got what he expected. Yeah, defensively, I mean, you know you're going to have guys that are contesting the puck against you, but to win it like that in the slot, that's how you generate attack. Tied him up in the face off, left the puck for his winger. Jokic to Aginla. Swung back to the point. That one's blistered on the snapshot. Cut down low. He's able to get control of it. To Ray. Good effort right there to break up the attack. To again. Closing in on the moments that OT ends. He's off and going on a breakaway. Picks that puck up in front of the net. That's in his own defensive end. Dangerous land right there. Shot gets blocked. Offense is on him. Got to move it. Ray. Well, that shot loosened up the stick. He dropped it. Save made. There's a great scoring opportunity. And that's it. They have won the game in overtime. And this one is over. Edmonton's effort that we saw during regulation continued into overtime as a result, a W. And you know what? One shot, that's all it takes. That's why you can't pass up any pucks when you got a chance to direct them at the goal. Take a shot in OT. You see what happens. And with this one completed, let's take a look at the three-star selections for this effort. Tonight's second star for Edmonton, number 71, Curtis Foster. And tonight's first star for Edmonton, number 28, Ryan Jones.